got a couple more problems um, that I'd like to do, factoring um, sum of cubes. Actually, both of them are going to be sum of cubes that, cubes that we'll put in this particular clip. But the coefficients are going to be a little bit bigger. We're going to have variables in both terms. Here's the problem that I'd like to factor. The reason I know it's a cube is because this is raised to the third power, and that is raised to the third power. I also know if I took my calculator and found out the cubed root of 125, I would get 5. Because 5 to the third power, or 5 times 5 times 5, is 125. And the cubed root of 8 is the number 2. So either you use your calculator to find out what the cube root of that, those values are, or you just recognize that 2 to the third is 8, 5 to the third is 125. But what I need to do is I need to come over here and state what my a value will be. So for this, it's 5x, and that's because 5x to the third power means 5x times 5x times 5x, which is 125x cubed. So that's why this represents a. And I'll be putting in a 5x right there. And my b value in this problem is going to be 2y. And that is because 2y to the third power is 2y times 2y times 2y, which is 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8y cubed. So establishing what A and B are is an important step, and that is the hardest step for most people. I'm going to erase this because I want to have a little bit more space, but I've got my A and my B value. There is one other thing that can cause folks some problem. So now I'm going to go ahead and put in for A and for B, I'm going to put in the 5x and the 2y. So right here, I'll have 5x plus the 2y. A lot of people right here want to just write 5x squared with no parentheses. This 5x, the a value, has to be squared. That will result in a term called 25x squared, because 5x times 5x is 25x squared. A lot of people will just call that whole term 5x squared. They won't think of it as 5x times 5x. A minus sign, because I've got the sum of cubes. This wants to be opposite. My a value over there is 5x. My b value is 2y. I will multiply those together in a minute and call those 10xy with that minus sign in between. This is always a plus sign. And my b value is 2y, but I want to square that. And so that's going to be 2y times 2y, which is 4y squared. So finally, my answer to this problem is this 5x plus the 2y, but then 5x times 5x is 25x squared. 5x times 2y is 10xy, and 2y times 2y is 4y squared. And I have the binomial times the trinomial that is the factored form of this sum of cubes. It can be kind of challenging. Let's do one with fractions, a little bit harder yet. So let's factor, unless you catch up with me, let's factor a cubed plus 1 eighth. And I get to keep this over here because I'm doing a, a plus uh, sum of cubes again. So we'll get rid of this. And... All right. So I want to know what my capital A value is. And that's a little a. Because a little a raised to the third power is that a cubed. When you have a fraction, one of the things you can do is you can ask yourself, you know, so let's write over here, ask yourself, what's the cubed root of 1, because that's in the numerator of this fraction, and what is the cubed root of 8? That's the way you can kind of break it up into parts. And the cubed root of 1 is the number 1, because 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. And the cubed root of 8 is 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So my b value in this problem is the fraction 1 half because 1 half times 1 half times 1 half is in the numerator 1 and in the denominator 8. That part is, is, is challenging sometimes.
I'm gonna have to get rid of that though to give myself some space. So now let's go and plug these values, little a and one half in for big A and big B. So right here I have little a plus one half and little a has to be squared. I don't need to put it in parentheses because it's just that, that single factor minus our big A is, is a little a, and our B value is one half, so A times one half. And then my B value is one half, and I want to square that. So finally, I, I kind of take a prolonged approach here, and I really write this down as I see it, but then I clean it up. So this binomial doesn't change at all. A squared. I'll put the coefficient in front of A, so I'll write that as a minus one half A. And then finally, 1 half times 1 half is 1 over 4, because when you multiply fractions, you just multiply straight across. 